A teenage playboy moves to New York City to live with his socialite stepmother and his conniving stepsister. Hey guys, welcome back to Flix Recap. Today we're covering the 2000s comedy drama film Cruel Intentions 2. Before we start, be sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to Flix Recap if you dig the breakdown. And as a quick reminder, this video contains spoilers, so you have been warned. The movie begins with a high school student, Sebastian, getting expelled by his principal for feeding a hamster, Viagra. The principal refuses to write him a good recommendation for his new school out of town. When Sebastian leaves the office, the principal's wife, Mrs. Freeman, calls and shouts at him for not checking the picture posted on her recent book. When he checks, he can't believe it's unclothed. He tries running after Sebastian, but it's too late. Sebastian is already leaving. The next thing we know, Sebastian has taken a flight to stay with his father, and when he reaches the building, he finds out it all belongs to his father. Inside, he meets his stepmom and stepsister, Catherine. Catherine gets annoyed when she sees Sebastian play the piano better than her and shuts it on her fingers, saying they should all have dinner now. At dinner, Sebastian finds out Catherine is the president of the new institute's student body and the president of the French club, even though she's still a sophomore. Sebastian leaves and his dad escorts him to his room. Getting upset at him for showing Catherine, he is better than her. On the table, Catherine's mom is disappointed in her for not being as good as Sebastian in piano and vocabulary. Inside Sebastian's room, he calls and checks up on his mother, and then goes to shower. Out of nowhere, Catherine comes inside and threatens him not to cross her way in school, or at home because she's happy with the way things are for her right now. On her way out, she compliments his tool and leaves Sebastian in shock. The next day, Catherine asks Sebastian to pretend as if he doesn't know her at school. Later, he waits outside the headmaster's office and compliments a blonde girl sitting outside. Inside the office, the headmaster is impressed by Sebastian's GPA and recommendation letters, but a bit dubious since it's a little too impressive. Meanwhile, the blonde girl sitting outside walks in and Sebastian gets to know she is the headmaster's daughter, Danielle. Later, Catherine gives her student body speech, but a girl in the audience gets really loud hiccups, which disrupts the speech. She apologizes and eats a gum to make it stop, and asks Catherine to carry on. Little did she know the gum would get stuck in her throat, and she fell down on the floor, panting for air. Danielle picks him up and helps take the gum out, making it fly all the way into Catherine's hair. Catherine gets jealous when everyone chants Danielle's name instead of praising her. Later in literature class, Sebastian and Danielle get into an intellectual debate. On the other hand, Catherine rushes after the assistant headmaster in an empty lobby. She threatens him to remove Jim from her schedule, or else she will call him out for seducing her the previous summer, although it's her who got on top of him. The assistant headmaster knows the school will believe Catherine instead of the reality, so he agrees and she leaves giving him a kiss on the lips. Next, Catherine walks to a secret room she has designated for her secret group of people who want to kick the losers and underprivileged out of school. After school, Sebastian finds Danielle working at a bookstore and asks her to get coffee with her for 15 minutes. She says she's busy, but he asks the owner if Danielle can take a break, and she says yes. Meanwhile, Catherine is still having her meeting where they decide who to get kicked out of school. She asks the group to get more information on Sebastian before coming to a conclusion. She also has her eyes on Cherie, the girl with hiccups, especially when Catherine finds out Cherie is richer than her. Okay guys, quick pause to remind you to comment, like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. On with the recap. After the meeting, Catherine picks Sebastian walking on the sidewalk with Danielle. Danielle doesn't care if Catherine is rude to her and really likes Sebastian. In the limo, Catherine calls Cherie and tells her she will pick Cherie at night to meet. Apparently, Catherine has a problem with Cherie not having her cherry popped yet, and wants to make her infamous in school. Back at home, Sebastian runs into his father talking to a girl romantically on the phone, and isn't surprised by his father being a playboy. Meanwhile, Catherine takes Cherie to a club, deceives her into drinking, saying it's iced tea, and tries to hook her up with a friend of hers. She takes Cherie to the bathroom and encourages her to do it with him. Back outside, Cherie kisses the boy but ends up throwing up on his pants before they can move any further, and Catherine gets super annoyed. Back home, Catherine overhears Sebastian on call with Danielle and later comes inside the room to make fun of him for getting shot down. She gets surprised to know Sebastian already knew everything about her night. In the morning, Catherine has two of her friends, Sarah and Gretchen, over to seduce and destroy Sebastian. They enter Sebastian's shower and strip down. 
To make Sebastian harder, the girls start kissing. They tell him it's too bad he's interested in Danielle, because except her, all the girls at the school put out. After the girls leave, Sebastian gets ready and comes down to leave for school. He's surprised to see the weekly allowance he and Catherine get. He gives most of it to the house help. At school, Cherie begs Danielle to give her French tuition in exchange for money. Danielle agrees and says the money doesn't matter. Then Danielle gets a call from Sebastian from a phone stuck on her backpack. She gets surprised and picks it up. Sebastian asks her to come downstairs and close her eyes, as Cherie follows her downstairs. Danielle does as she's told, and Sebastian just pops in to kiss her on the lips. The entire school sees and Danielle gets angry, throwing the phone back at him and rushing back upstairs. Later, Catherine tries to seduce an instructor to get her off ballet, but he doesn't listen. She rushes to the assistant headmaster and tries to seduce him, so he helps her get rid of ballet. He says the administration is suspecting something's not right, so she agrees to take Jim and ballet both, but says she will need him soon for a much bigger favor. To keep him on board, she spreads his legs for him. Later, when she comes home, no one opens the door for her, nor does the driver pick her up and she has to take a cab home. When she enters, she finds the staff drunk, playing cards with Sebastian. Sebastian is sad for spending all of his money on a girl, but not getting her. Catherine says she will complain to her mother, but Sebastian stops her and says the staff acting this way on his orders. Catherine storms off and starts crying, and Sebastian asks her to relax and stop trying to be like her mother, as she doesn't need anyone else's validation. Sebastian gets a call and leaves. On the phone, Cherie tells him where Danielle is with her aunt right now, and that she's madly in love with Sebastian waiting for him. Even before she finishes her speech, Sebastian has left. Danielle gets surprised to know Sebastian knew where she was, and asks him to just be himself instead of trying so hard. He offers to drop her home, but she leaves in a cab. Back home, Catherine tells the maid she won't tell her mom about the card game and tries to bond with her like Sebastian, but the maid isn't impressed. Meanwhile, Danielle is teaching Cherie French, and Cherie keeps talking about Sebastian. She even gives Danielle a sketch on Danielle and Sebastian kissing to make her like him. The next day, Catherine tells her friends she has sent Cherie on a mission without Cherie realizing, and she updates them on getting the old chef kicked out by putting rat in food. From upstairs, they hear Cherie all excited, saying their moms met and now Catherine has been invited over for a sleepover. Later, Danielle meets Sebastian alone and tells him she likes him. She just wasn't comfortable before because she wanted to make sure her first kiss was with the right guy. Sebastian leans in to kiss her and she's happy. Little did he know, Catherine was eavesdropping everything from a pillar and appears when Danielle leaves for class. Catherine tells Sebastian she will mess things up between them, and Sebastian threatens him back. They agree the war has started, and on his way out, Sebastian pushes Catherine into the mud. Back home, Catherine gets annoyed to find out her mom invited Cherie's family over for dinner in greed of getting an investment. Sebastian walks into both mother and daughter getting a body massage and decides to get his first ever body massage. Mid-massage, Sebastian realizes her stepmother is doing it for him. She threatens to get him and his father on the street if she finds out he's having other flings and only marries her for the money. Later, Sebastian visits her father on his yacht and finds him tied to the bed with a girl he has cheated with in the closet. Sebastian tells the girl his father is married and she leaves. He leaves his father tied and tells him to stop cheating or he won't only mess his life, but even Sebastian's. When Sebastian's father arrives home with his hands still tied, Catherine sees him walk by the passageway and leaves dinner with Cherie's family to talk to him. She follows him inside his washroom and asks him to take her mom for a date the next time with very specific details in return for keeping her mouth shut about his hands being tied together. The next day, Cherie and Catherine go out for horse riding, and meanwhile, Sebastian's limo goes to pick Danielle up. Catherine makes Cherie sit on a horse and constantly grind it with speed. Cherie grinds so hard she ends up falling down, but loves the sensation and says now she knows why girls love horses. Sebastian and Danielle sit at the same park on a bench and lock lips. Danielle says she has two sides to her. Once he is really dark and wants to do it with Sebastian on the spot, but the other side wants to wait until she gets married. He tells her he is deeply in love with her and ready to take things slow. But Danielle starts caressing and unzipping his pants to put her mouth on him. Just as she's about to take his tool out, she gets a call from her dad and has to leave. On the other hand, after riding, Catherine goes shopping, and her friend meets to give her Sebastian's past details. 
Back home, Sebastian is on his way to meet Danielle, but Catherine stops him and presents him with the file. She realizes her mom's money pays for Sebastian's mom's rehab, and without them, Sebastian's whole family will be on the street. His past bad boy acts turn her on, and she asks him to do it with him, because Danielle clearly won't give it to him. Danielle kisses Catherine and gets on top of her in bed. He makes her fully ready, but leaves before doing the act. He says he loves Danielle, and he won't let Catherine corrupt it. As soon as he leaves, she calls Danielle. Sebastian rushes to Danielle's house, with her dad gone out of town. She lets him in and asks him to stay when he says he feels like leaving town. Danielle asks him if he believes in their love, and he says yes, although then she says she doesn't. Catherine pops out of the closet, confusing Sebastian. Catherine and Danielle start making out, showing this was their plan all along. In the end, all three of them end up doing it all together. To end the movie, the three of them packed together to rule the school. Sebastian's limo overruns Cherie's bike and he picks her up and gets her super wet. Catherine and Danielle sit in the front, enjoying the moans, meaning their mission is successful. Do you think Sebastian will stick to his old evil ways or eventually change for the better? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe too. Until next time.